So in a previous video, I showed you how to make an electromagnet out of a microwave oven transformer. In this video, we're going to make it switch operated uh, and Ryobi drill battery compatible. We're gonna make the Ryobi electromagnet. So really, all you're gonna need is the microwave oven transformer. And in, a, in the previous video, I showed you how to remove that secondary coil. Uh, switch rated for 18 volts DC. I'm only using a 12 volt switch. It should work just fine. And this will run you about a couple dollars. All the links for the components you're gonna need will be in the description of this video. 14 gauge stranded wire, a two to two and a half inch piece of PVC to go over this drill battery. Screws, uh, a piece of wood to mount everything on. Um, and that really should be about it. You'll also need basic tools uh, to get started, but make sure the screw heads you have are small enough to line up with the Ryobi battery's terminal so when they're contacting, they don't come in contact with the plastic. I'm screwing this in with the screw in the opposite way. And if you want to trick on how to screw these in a little bit better, take your drill. Tighten it around it. And there you go. Now take some matching nuts and stick them on there. Might as well make one extra one so you can't plug it in wrong. If you do it the lazy way, without using the threads properly, of the PVC that you created, you will have to use an extra nut. All right, well, See if that worked. Worked. Easy. So you can see on the top and the bottom, I drilled the perfect size holes so the threads of the screw were able to uh, stick into the PVC. But on this one I used, on the ground here I used a larger plug so I had to use two nuts to keep the screws in place. But whenever I plug this in, um, it's, it's a perfect fit and you can't plug it in the wrong way, see? So if I plug it in backwards, it's not gonna fit. But once I plug it in correctly, I got positive, negative, and it's a pretty snug fit. So our electromagnet is going to sit at the bottom here. I plan on drilling it into the wood here, having the battery plug in somewhere over here, and I'll need some kind of handle up here, and the, the wires will have to be able to connect down here. Hmm. This is gonna be fun. did was screwed into this wood here and I used some uh, nuts. I countersunk the holes that I was drilling in so I could uh, screw in some uh, nuts here and better secure this electromagnet because it's gonna be holding up to 50 pounds. Um, so I wanted it to be on there really well. And it's a pretty good connection. It holds the battery even without me holding the battery itself. Uh, it holds the weight of the battery just by friction. I went and I got this cheap bit from Home Depot uh, that will hopefully match the size of the PVC. So in the wood, I can drill a hole and put the PVC through and put a place, a place for me to store my battery. And then all I need is to put the switch on and then wire it up and then we'll be done.
that's the negative wire, and uh, the, the, it doesn't matter which one goes positive or negative here. Uh, so I just attach the negative wire to this terminal um, on the micro bevin transformer. And then I'm going to do the positive over here. Positive is going to connect to the switch that I just screwed into this wood here. So the positive is going to go to this switch, and from this switch we're going to go to the positive pole. And this is going to activate it, and then we'll be done. All, all we're going to need is a handle. Okay, well the electronics are basically done. All right, let's just see if this works. <laughs> hey, look at that. All right, time to solder these things up and uh, make the connections a little bit better, add a handle, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I'm continuing the build video on the Ryobi Electromagnet. Uh, here's what we have so far. Um, I haven't soldered anything yet, and if you're wondering why my clothes changed throughout the video, uh, sometimes that happens because it takes me longer than one day to film a video sometimes, because uh, I don't have all the time in the world. Anyways, I need a way to hold the Electromagnet, so I got some, uh, some of this, like, metal... Uh, support stuff used in plumbing um, from Home Depot. It's really cheap. Also, really cheap vinyl tubing. I'm gonna combine. I'm going to combine the two and make a little handle, and then drill it onto the electromagnet. Uh, and then I need to solder everything together, and then uh, it should be pretty much done. So uh, I'm gonna get to it, and I'll come right back. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Okay, and just like that, the Ryobi-powered electromagnet is done. Plug in the battery. And uh, this is, we've got 100 nuts here. Just uh, turn it on. Cleanup is done. And that's it, really simple to use invention here, and you know, it holds a pretty good amount of weight, and you just, you know, flip the switch here to activate or deactivate it. And the best part about it is when you're done, you just replace the battery or recharge it with a Ryobi's docking station or whatever. So you can just hang this up with the rest of your Ryobi tools, and uh, that's it, you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any more ideas, please let me know and have a great day.